Are you one of those people that, I don't know, you get irritated really easily? You're always ticked off. You're always in a bad mood. Everybody pees you off. Like you're just always grumpy and always cranky. Well, maybe not you, but somebody you know. Okay, you. Is that you? Well, John and I know exactly why that's happening. No, we don't know your past, but we know what your past includes. Some of these right behind me, some trapped emotions. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to episode number... 49. 49. John, we're almost 52 weeks doing this. Episode 49. Are you irritable? Are you constantly in a bad mood? Are you cranky pants? If that's you, welcome to today's show. We want to hear from you. My name is Michael Oshi. I'm here every Saturday morning, 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, co-host of the Emotion Code Bro Show. I'm a certified Emotion Code practitioner, and I have, again, with me this Saturday... John Inverarity, uh, also certified in the Emotion Code and certified in the Body Code. And yeah, here every Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, this is a great topic today, cranky or irritable. No one wants to be cranky or irritable on a, on a long weekend. Well, nobody wants you to be cranky or irritable. <laughs> yeah. And you know, yeah. um, I have had many cases of stories that I worked with and they were just blown away. One guy I worked with and he said, you know what, I don't really like anybody. So, well, I think we need to work with that. Maybe. I'm always cranky and I'm always irritable. And I worked on him, and the next meeting he said, the weirdest thing is happening. People are noticing what, what a good mood I'm in, because I haven't heard that in my life. And they were prenatal trapped emotions from him. So I said, what? were you cranky when I was young? He said, oh, I was irritable when I was born, and I've been irritable ever since. Huh. So uh, I guess we're going to find out that today. We'll talk more about what that might be. So yeah. uh, I'm in beautiful Victoria, B.C. This weekend we're celebrating Victoria Day, Queen Victoria Day weekend. It's a long weekend here in Canada. And, John, you said you associate the May long weekend with? The gateway to summer, right? It's, yeah, it is the gateway to summer. It's warming up, well, at least here in, in, in Canada. It's, That's right. You know, the springs can be cold. So, yeah, it's warming up. It's warming up, yeah. I got my balcony garden all fixed up, and it's looking great. I've, I was in Vegas for three days. I'm just getting home. I was doing my Certified Law of Attraction Facilitator program, so congratulations to all the people that were graduating. It was a two-day program, and after one day, they were just, like, numb. They, they, were, they got so much value. They even said that. I've, like, they were just in overload after day one. They said, this is way more than I would have expected. And they got to practice all the um, parts of the presentation, and I'm going to continue to support them to carry on. I'm in June 1st, or June 3rd, in Toronto, Ontario, doing a Sunday afternoon seminar. So please, uh, if you're in the area or you want to go to Toronto, it's right near the airport, get off the airplane, take a shuttle, spend the afternoon with me, go home. Go home enlightened and understanding the three-step process. And I'm also in Fredericton, New Brunswick, on June 8th, 9th, or 10th. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the dates, Fredericton, but I am coming. And then I'm going to go hang out with my mom for three days. And that's uh, not really hang out with her because she's in a senior home, but I get to take her out. I'm like yeah. a people walker. You have to nice. sign her out. You have to sign her out. <laughs> get a day pass? Yeah, get a day pass. And my two sisters do it all the time, so I'm grateful for them looking after my mom, and that's what I'm going to do. Although I do help her from a distance with a lot of emotion code work. Yeah. You know, particularly after she had her stroke, she had some brain damage and her speech was bad and confused. And I cleaned up all of that. Um, you know, it took a few weeks to work with all that. Her subconscious mind wouldn't let me do everything at once. And oh, yeah. she had other issues and we got that all cleaned up. She had blo high blood pressure, or high sugars rather, and I got those lowered. She yeah. wasn't eating anything sugary, but some of her other organs blood were Blood sugars were off. And, yeah. Yeah. They said, we don't know why your mother's sugars are double. And it's like, I'll figure that out. So I did. I did two emotion code sessions and uh, cleaned that out. One time I worked with my mother's bad knee and my sister was in the room and had the phone on, you know, and I was, um, D Diane called. She said, oh, mom's right knee is really sore. She won't go to her birthday party. And it was her birthday that day. So I worked on my mom's knee, not knowing that there was uh, support staff in the room. And <laughs> when I was done, my mother jumped up and said, come on, let's go. You know, like... <laughs> What the hell uh, just happened here? Like, they were so confused. 
Hey, everybody, welcome. If you just joined us, both John and I are Emotion Code Certified Practitioners by the lovely and talented Dr. Bradley Nelson. Dr. Bradley Nelson. Nelson. Here's the book. He wrote the book, The Emotion wrote Code. The book, developed the chart, developed the process, and he certifies people uh, like John and I. John's also a body code practitioner, and we help people at a distance, whether you're across from us at a coffee table or a coffee shop table, <laughs> or whether you're in another country on Skype, on telephone, or yeah. on a medium like this, we are able to uh, remove trapped emotions from you. So John, let's tell people what today, remind people what they need to do today if they want to participate. Let's talk a little bit about the emotion code process. And uh, well, before we do that, let's do an S, an SO. Let's do a Shut show, up. see who's watching. Absolutely, who is with us here? Yeah, Elise uh, Shockey says, good morning, bros. Hey, Elise, good morning. And Christy Footpatrick says, hi from Georgia. This is me. This is me. Oh, is this, do you mean this is me, Cranky Pants? My, maybe, we'll see. Christy Footpatrick, let us know if that's you. We have our friend Natasha Paula Samu from the UK. I bet she has a fascinator on. Hello, Michael and John, looking forward to another Razzle Dazzle show. Yeah. Jim Smith Jim says, Smith good morning. Jim Smith joined us. Hey, good oh, morning, hey. Jim Smith. That looks like a new name for us. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, yeah. Uh, Karen Linder Trussell. Good morning, Grinder Linder here. Yeah, we helped out Karen with teeth grinding. Oh, yeah, teeth grinder. Yeah, that Grinder was, Linder. <laughs> that was, yeah, the first 10 episodes, I think. It was the, one of the first. Uh, and Sylvia Bellini says, hello, lovely. PM in London. Were you all up at stupid o'clock for the royal wedding? <laughs> wedding? Well, I was I'm sure not. it's going to be on repeat all day. Yeah, all week. Tamara Trapp, morning from sunny Alberta. I finally have time to watch a live show. Yay, Tamara. Good stuff. Regis Machado. Machado. Hey, he's from Brazil. Good Brazil morning, Regis. Nice to have you hey, with Regis. us. Jim Hayward says hello. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim, good morning. And Candace Cass says, hi, Michael and John, happy to be with you. Oh, Sylvia Bellini's fessing up. What has, Looking what? forward to a great show as ever. I am very grumpy. So I'm volunteering my grumpiness to you. According to my family, it's definitely a 10. You have my permission of 56. Okay, we're going to collect some other people who are interested, Sylvie Bellini, and we may choose you. We'd like to help you out. Misty's in the house. Misty Anderson's joined us. Okay, she gave us a hashtag emotion code bros. Hey, Misty. Okay, John, let's talk about why it is that we're able to help people become uncranky or less cranky and, and identify what caused them to be cranky. You know, um, well, we don't know what caused you to be cranky, but your subconscious mind does. Your subconscious mind is like a sub-file folder, and it stored everything. It knows everything, everything you tasted and smelled and touched and learned and read and experienced. It also knows about every experience that you ever had. And the best news of all is that your subconscious mind will tell you or tell us as a practitioner what it was that's causing for you to be cranky, or have a stuffy nose, or have heartburn, or have a sore neck. All of that information is available. And the way it's available is that we can ask your subconscious mind, hey, there's some of these unprocessed trapped emotions. John, what are these, what are trapped emotions? Yeah, trapped emotions are unprocessed emotions from a past negative event. So there could be hundreds of these trapped emotions uh, that's contributing to, to your grumpiness. And yeah, it's our job to communicate with the subconscious to find out what they are. Do cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> so a trapped emotion is about the size of your fist, maybe a little bit larger, the size of yeah. a cantaloupe. And it acts like a double-edged sword in that it affects you mentally, like grumpiness, and physically in, in pain. And it can create addictions as well, uh, contribute to uh, ex you know, excessive beer drinking yeah. or wine drinking. Yeah, if you have a if you have a stiff neck, you probably have a cantaloupe, an unprocessed cantaloupe there stopping it. You know, just in just in cartoon terms, your subconscious we're gonna say, hey subconscious mind that knows everything, why am I so cranky? 
which one of these trapped emotions are causing me to be cranky? And your subconscious mind is going to let us know through muscle testing. And it's going to say, it's this one right here. And you are five you years know. old because it knows everything. So John, let us know muscle testing is a way that when we scan the list, we say to our brain, we want the muscles to lock up. I do it this way. Lock it up if it's a yes. Let it go if it's a no. It's a no. So we scan we'll the like list. That. Yeah. And the way we're to be able to do it on our friend's behalf is that we have this invisible tiny connection thread and we've become their proxy. In other words, we can do it for you on your behalf. No matter where you live, with your permission, we can say, we have your permission. That's Sylvia knows how to do it. She told us her age. She told us the severity. It's a 10. And we can say, okay, let me get connected. I'm able to do that because I have her permission. There's a little process that we go through. We are now connected. And I'll say subconscious mind right now, I am Sylvie Bellini, I'm 56. Tell me what's causing my crankiness. And I'll scan through the list and I'll say, is it this one? No, this one, no, this one, no, this one. We have a little method to do it faster. When we find it, it locks it in, John. Then once we identify, then what's the next thing we do? We remove it. So we take a magnet and run it over the top of the head, governing meridian. So front of the face, over the head with intention. And the magnet amplifies our intention to clear that little ball of energy. So it's a whole process, whole system. And so we, we bring it up by identifying it. And then we, once it's identified and on the surface, we use that magnet to clear it out. Yeah. And the details of the event aren't necessary. We don't need to know, oh, you were in school or it was with your mom or dad or no. You just, uh, sometimes the subconscious mind says, you know what, let's make sure you got the right event and ask me what the age was and say, what well, was, oh, you were nine years old? And that's all we ever know. So nothing personal comes out in the process. If you've been watching the bro show, you'll know that we worked on everything from, well, frankly, excessive peeing to constipation to heartache to heartburn to nasal congestion to seasonal allergies, money blocks, business blocks, tingling in the feet. Food, pain, brain fog, procrastination, clutter, yes. writer's block, So Christy resistance. Foote saying you have yeah. my permission. Now, Christy, we need to know uh, what is the severity of your crankiness, you know? And if you're not sure, ask your friends. <laughs> and I'm going to work on Sylvia because uh, we, uh, yeah, we were, yeah. She put it, she came forward and we have time to work on that. So yeah. Um, now, John, all of this can work, you know, part of our, part of the practitioners, we have to connect with the source or the person that we're working with. And the fuel that we use to do that is. Is water. So we drink a lot of water. We always have water on hand. Okay. So I'm going to begin the first one, John, and then uh, I'll let you know about some of the things that came up before. And then maybe you can hear from. Uh, Christy, Christy Foot Patrick, she, she says nine out of ten. Uh, they would say ten. I'm forty eight. Christy, okay. is it? What a nice work with uh, Sylvia. And then you can let people know about the process, and then you can get started. So Absolutely. let's double check. I got magnets in my hand. Any kind of magnet. When I find the trapped emotion, I'm going to sweep it from here to here. Even though it looks like I'm just doing it in front of my face, I'm actually because it's two uh, D looking. You can't tell that I'm going back, but I am. We've had a lot of comments about that. So I'm muscle testing right now. Am I Michael Loge? I am. Am I Sylvia Bellini? No. Oh, look at that. Am I Michael? No, I'm Sylvia. Now, the reason why I got connected so fast, because I worked with Sylvia before. So we got connected. So I'm Sylvia Bellini. Am I in Canada? No, I'm not. Am I in Mars? I'm not. Am I in, look at that. Am I in the UK? I am. Am I 55? I'm not. Am I 57? I'm not. Am I 56? I am. I, so just confirming, I got the right Sylvie Bellini. I'm in the UK and I'm 56. Okay. I'm asking my subconscious mind that knows everything. What is the severity of my cranky pants? What is the severity of being <laughs> kind of in a foul mood or just being in a bad mood? Is it one? No. Is it a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Oh, it's not too bad. Is it a 10? Is it a nine? It's an eight. Okay. So the severity of my cranky pants is an eight. And I'm just going to do, we don't do this too often, but I'm going to just check it. It's, it. It'll be give or take, but how many trapped emotions are causing my cranky pants? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, just five of them. Okay. There's 60 on the chart. So. Yeah. 60 in two columns and six rows. Column A, column B, one to six. Dr. Brad's chart here, motion code yeah, chart. So I just found the first one. And the first one is failure. 
And do I need to know more? I do. So let's just start with halfway. Was I 25? Was I over 25? No. Was I under 25? I was. Was I under 20? Was I under 10? 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Was I zero? What the Halloween does that mean? John? What just happened? Yeah, zero. So that means it means prenatal, right? So you're in the womb at this point. You can you can trap emotions in the womb, maybe take it on from your parents. So we're born with uh, this stress that your parents uh, had while you were um, while your mom was pregnant. Okay, I just found prenatal helplessness. So another trapped emotion when she was in her mother's womb of helplessness. Now, it's probably safe to say she was cranky her whole life, right? She was born as cranky pants. Maybe. She probably was cranky diapers back then. Yeah. So irritable, is there hopelessness? There is. Uh, was it prenatal hopelessness? It was. Now I'm deleting this prenatal. Tell, uh, tell why we use the magnet again. To delete the emotion. But what it does, it amplifies our intention while swiping over the governing meridian. So in uh, the acupuncture system, basically which takes that little ball of energy, dissolves it, and processes it through the entire meridians, meridian system. So, yeah, again, the magnet amplifies our intention to Okay, I'm just going to check now. Do I have any more trapped emotions? Oh, I don't. Did I get rid of them all? I did. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to see if there's anything else out there. Oh, there's some HBs. There's some hidden ones. How many? Hidden. Yeah, sometimes you have there's to ask for hidden. hidden. For reasons unknown, the subconscious hides things on us these emotions so specifically ask for hidden emotion you have hidden heart wall emotions as well but once you find it they're no longer hidden obviously and you can clear them like a standard trapped emotion <clears throat> sometimes you can check for inherited as well um we could so an emotion that uh, you're born with um so before you're conceived um then a parent uh, went through and, and, and trapped or an ancestor went through sometimes they go back dozens and dozens or hundreds and hundreds of generations but those are always fun to clear okay i am going to uh, check my work uh right now i'm sylvia bellini i'm 55 56 i'm in the uk before today's session with michael what was the severity of my pants being a cranky on fire <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight was it nine was it ten it was an eight and now what is the severity of my crankiness? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I missed one. Oh, what is, is that? Is it column A or column B? Is it even odd? 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's stubbornness. Is it my stubbornness? Oh. No, it's not. Is it my dad's, my mom's? Talk about that, John. Yeah, inherited stubbornness. So just like your mom, hate to break it to you. Just blame the mother. <laughs> now I'm going to double check now, see if I got everything. On a scale of 1 to 10, now what is the severity of my stubbornness? Is it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0? It's a 0. Sylvie Bellini, you can hold your head up high and pull up your cranky pants. <laughs> yeah. Turn that frown upside down. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect from Sylvia now. Okay, I am back to being Michael Loge. Okay, nice. John, you can hey, go my ahead turn. if you have enough information. Yeah, yeah, I'm working with uh, a Christy Footpatrick, cranky, crusty Christy Footpatrick. <laughs> Nine out of ten, cranky Christy. All right, so I'll just connect up. So I do have Christy's permission. She's wrote it in the comments, and so I'll just connect up. And that was quick, yeah. So I do have a good connection here. So in muscle testing, I loop my uh, pinky thumb here, and I take these fingers and just loop it through and press it apart. And I'm just muscle testing down in my lap here. You can't see it. Uh, but that is my technique. There's lots of different muscle testing techniques, and this is really the only one that I found that worked for me. Uh, yeah. So I'm sticking with it. And it's not in the book. There's other techniques in the Emotion Code book. Um, you have some people use pendulum yeah. swinging. It all depends what your style is. Yeah. The sway, the sway, the sway. test is uh, common and easy. Good. I'm just going to read a couple comments while you're getting connected there. Yeah. Sylvie Bellini saying, thank you very much. Well, drinking lots of decaf tea counts as getting hydrated. Well, because it's decaf, it counts as water. But if you were drinking coffee, the, the caffeine actually dehydrates you. So 
slip in a big glass of water there too, Sylvia. So yeah, so stay nice and hydrated. Uh, Barbara Rowling, I need to work on my cranky pads. Cranky pads. Well, uh, Barbara, I know that you're also an emotion code practitioner. I mean, the question yeah. just is, what is the severity of me being cranky or irritated? Always do from scale. You want to know what the level, oh, scale to one to 10, what is it? And then go through the regular process. Yeah, I got a 10 for uh, Christy. Christy's on a 10. Uh, Caleb saying, I'm cranky at times. And Barbara, have you ever done cranky with a relative or sibling? No, but you can. It's easy to do. Same thing. Just need to connect with the person. Oh, here's Delilah. I was with Delilah in Las Vegas for the course, and she's make, leaving this comment. I had issues with my gallbladder for a long time. When I was in Vegas at Michael Loche's Lava Traffic Facilitator Training, I had him work on my gallbladder. I had eaten a turkey sandwich earlier that day, and I was in pain. So Michael performed a motion code on me, and within the first few minutes, the pain subsided a bit. But within an hour, it was completely gone, and still gone. Nice. I'm clearing a sadness. Nice. Gallbladder. Yeah, you can work on any organ and gland, right? I like working on the heart. Heart wall? Yeah, we did. we've got uh, great success working on the heart wall. You know, it's these trapped emotions that are kind of wrapped around your heart. You know how people say, oh, she's got a wall around her heart, or he's, he's, got, a, he's got a blocks up. Well, that's literal. And what it means is these trapped emotions, the size of cantaloupes, baseballs, foot, um, your fist, are stacked around your heart, and these negative emotions are stopping you from sending and receiving love. And, you know, when I worked on Delilah, I remember it because we had a conversation, the trapped emotions were on uh, row four. <laughs> there was ten of them. And all of these trapped emotions are all related to an organ, and guess what row number four is? It is the liver the stuff, bladder. yeah. Yeah, liver gallbladder. All those yeah, hot ones. It's, it's the hot box. That's what I call the hot box. Oh, the yeah, original hot box. Yeah. Uh, overwhelmed. Just cleared an overwhelm from Christy. That's cleared. Yes. And this is a chart, actually, uh, and a magnet. It's um, You can get them from Dr. Brad's website, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So Delilah, thanks for sharing your gallbladder story. Um, there was another woman there that weekend that had excessive peeing or excessive urination. And all of hers were around her bladder, row number five. <laughs> we're not guessing this stuff, right? Okay. No. Misty gave us a bye-bye cranky pants hashtag. If you're watching live, you know what? You might be watching home today and thinking, I need to hire a bro. I need to fix up some stuff. Well, you've heard us talk about bringing a list, you know, our, our sessions are between, John does 20 minutes, I do 20 minutes, I do a half hour. So you saw how quickly I was able to, um, and you'll hear from Sylvie Bellini, because I helped her get rid of potato chips almost a year ago, and she hasn't had any sense. So we're going to get some good results and stories from her. Uh, I'm working today and Sunday, and John's working next weekdays after Monday. Monday's a holiday here. So yeah. do yourself a favor. If you've been living with a problem, whether it's, you know, well, you hear all the stuff that we do. I know that you know something that you want to work on. Uh, you might even be excited to know what we're going to do next week's show. John's going to announce that later. John, give us an update where you're at, please. Um, so I cleared an overjoy. That's unique. It's the only sort of like positive emotion on the chart. Yeah. And what that means is uh, your body's actually not wired for the situation, for the amount of joy. So you kind of like red line at this intense joy and then it get trapped as, as an imbalanced energy. Quite unique. It's like winning Miss America and then just getting so joyful that you've turned into crybaby and shock and all that. That's, that's, that's how I call it. Megan Martin. Carol, Carol Bad has joined us from Victoria, Australia. So good morning, Carol Bad. Yeah. Heather Fisher from Newfoundland, Canada. Yeah, I do 20 minute and I do 45 minute sessions as well. Okay, that's what Some people like longer sessions. Um, yeah. 
Hashtag yeah. on the list. Disgust, so clear disgust. Cleared. We go a little bit quicker now. Another trapped emotion here, Christy. Creating this crankiness, irritableness. Column A, column B. The odd be even. B4, B6. Frustration. Need to know more about frustration. No clear frustration. So clear frustration. Cleared. Another trapped emotion. A. Yeah, odd. Yeah. A5. Dread. Dread. Fear of the future. Dread. Impending doom. Need to know more. No. Clear dread. Okay. That's cleared. The trapped emotion creating this crankiness, triggering the irritability. Yeah, underlying this, linked or related to this, this symptom. Uneasy on edge, crankiness, A, B, A odd, even, 3, A, 3. For the first one, yeah. Crying. Crying. It's like holding back tears, holding back that sadness and just stuffing it all in. Uh, clearing crying from Christy. Clearing crying from cr Cranky Christy. <laughs> yeah. And we have a five out of ten. At least a five. No. Four, three, two. We're at a two out of a ten. A couple more here. I'll just do them in my head now. Okay, go ahead. I'll just carry on. I'm going to chat with some people outside there. Uh, so, Mr. Anderson, thing, how was the Law of Attraction seminar? Well, we had a lot of fun, and they did a lot of practicing. You know, I taught them everything from the opening sentence to the closing sentence, and they got into groups, and they had little mini seminars and teaching each other, and people left really, really satisfied. Uh, I haven't picked a date for the next one, although there is an online version of all that that people can take, so... That's another way to do that. And uh, my next seminar is in um, Vancouver. Really? It's not, it's not, sorry. It's in Toronto. I was just reading <laughs> something else. Yeah. Caleb's asking about how much a 20 minute session is. Caleb, you can go to John's site, aliveandpure.com and uh, you can check that out, you know. Caleb, why don't you tell the story about when I worked with your son? He wasn't even in the room. Uh, I worked with your son and helped him clear some of the trapped emotions. If you're willing to share that story, I'd love to hear it. Barbara Rowling said, I haven't had any biscuits since you got rid of them for me. It's about a month. Really? And she was all wishy-washy about that. I said, biscuits? Barbara Rowling, Cooper, get out the pot. <laughs> yeah. You're either going to get rid of them or you're not. Biscuits be gone? Biscuits be gone is right. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm repeating myself. Uh, I don't know if I'm repeating myself. I don't know if I'm repeating myself. But uh, two Saturdays ago, I worked with the smoker, and in 21 minutes, the session was done. And that was on a Saturday. We had an appointment on Sunday, and I said, "Well, you know what? Let's meet tomorrow." Because my expectation was he would be reducing his anxiety and maybe not smoke as much. And then he emailed me on Sunday and said. Bro, I am hashtag no more smoker. And then I heard from him a week later, because it's been about 10 days now. Yeah. He hasn't had a cigarette, hasn't had a craving, hasn't had a trigger. That's unreal. Yeah. You know what, John? I, I would never promise anybody <laughs> yeah. I, could do, I could do it in 21 minutes. No. But, uh, I'm meeting him again on Monday to get an update. Then our beer drinker from Janet last week, she was saying publicly that she drank, you know, she'd get really happy about something, her life would be going good, and then she would... So we worked on her, I worked on her no more than seven minutes. And uh, I asked her for an update and she said she had a really good non-drinking week. But last night, one of her beer drinking buddies came to her house and they went to the pub and she was, I had four beer. And uh, so I don't think that's bad news, but now we know what the trigger is. Now, next time I meet her, I'll say, you know, and it's her friend, it's her drinking friend, you know, or, you know, they go to the, no, no judgment about that. It's just a friend that she drinks with. Yeah. So I'm, next time I see her, we're going to go right to that friend and said, you know what? What is the severity of the trigger that I always want to drink when I see my friend blank? And then we'll, I'll be able to collapse that. So 
I think yeah. that'd be pretty good for a short session, helping you get rid of beer. Yeah, that's all we're really looking for. And, you know, that's all we, people are really asking for is just to like tone that down that, you know, every day kind of drinking, right? Like it wouldn't yeah. really affect yeah, your health. Yeah, a couple like of that. beer once in a while. That's, you know, we're yeah. not saying, but people know what they want and what they don't not want. And yeah. She kind of wants to get rid of it. So Okay, yeah. Yeah, I had an uh, update from Samantha, worked with her last week as well. Oh, yeah. And yeah, so she, she gave me an update and it, she said it really helped her as well. So she was hanging out with like family uh, afterwards, like the weekend and hanging out with her kids outside and she didn't even want, want a drink. She didn't want a beer. And it was like the first time she was like, felt like that. She thought about it, but she didn't need to, you know, go to the, the, the <laughs> go crack a cold one. She, she was yeah. just able to hang out. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, so for a 20-minute session, uh, we can save you all that beer money or pot money. I've helped a lot of, probably four people, like, totally eliminate marijuana and pot. Like, just totally eliminate it, not even cut back. So, um, and then I had a company here in Victoria, a corporate company, that asked me to submit a proposal to go in and work with six of their staff on smoking. So, cool. before I did that, I actually wrote my program. What am I going to help people? And I went through, I probably had a 25-minute session yeah. So when this new client said, "Can I? Will you work with this book?" And I actually took the program and I walked all the way through it and I nailed everything on it. So it's just a matter of me hearing from him and finding out triggers. You know, triggers like my friend Janet with the beer sometimes trigger. So I said, you know, uh, what's the severity of my trigger when I smell it? What's the severity of the cigarette when I see a butt on the floor or it's coffee break time? Or what's the severity of wanting to have a cigarette when? All my friends are go outside to have yeah. a cigarette. Yeah. What's the severity of my trigger when somebody on TV is smoking a cigarette? Because yeah. what's the severity of um, wanting to have a cigarette when the phone rings? Right, the phone rings and people are looking for their cigarettes first, and then the phone. Like, there's just you have to you have to find what is your specific trigger. So um, yeah, or, or a meal, right? It's really common, or a yeah. coffee, or yeah, whatever it may be. Um, my friend Helena, who's been on the show before, and uh, John's going to be away for a couple Fridays because uh, he is going to be in beautiful Bali, Indonesia. Yay! <laughs> yeah, and Saturdays, yeah. I guess. And uh, I think I'm going to bring um, Helena on to be my guest host while you're away because the time difference won't be friendly for you. It'll be like midnight. I yeah, I was thinking about that how that's going to work, but you know, I'm, I'm glad you just took care of things. <laughs> Yeah, it's well, I guess I didn't talk to long. I, yeah. I didn't talk about it with you because I've been in Malaysia. Yeah, and literally, it's like it's either twelve or one in the morning Is when it? the show airs, and um, huh. yeah, you're on vacation. Are you giving me a, a break? Yeah, I'm not going to want you to be doing that. Are you giving me a day pass? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be looking for some guests, uh, some guest hosts, and. Uh, I think Helena are gonna, and I are going to do a program on Vancouver Island. We're going to do it in because she's a hypnotist as well. So yeah. we're going to. Um, it'll be a paid session. People are going to come in. She'll do a hypnosis session for the whole room, and then her and I will do individual one-on-one -on -one sessions with everybody that comes on smoking. Brilliant. Yeah, and before you know it, John, we're going to be live in uh, Nanaimo, British Columbia, on Vancouver Island in the fall. Uh, doing our bro show. And I'm definitely going to make sure it gets filmed. I might even hire someone to come look after it because I always say I'm going to film it and then when I get there, there's like, there's yeah. way too much to do and it's like, yeah. oh, it's, it's easier yeah. to say no, but uh, it'll be three o'clock in the afternoon hour time, which is six hours from now. And uh, I'd like to show people how effective it is to do the seven keys in person. And I also support other facilitators to learn how to do that with a program that I have. John, let's get an update from you, please. I think I'm at a zero. I'm just double checking. Are we at a zero here, Christy? But Patrick, we at a zero, yeah. Are we above a zero? No. We got a zero for irritability, crankiness. Okay, well, yeah. Christy, we definitely want to hear from you uh, by next Saturday or before next Saturday. And then uh, next Saturday is our last show for a while. Then we have two weeks off because I'm traveling. And then, uh, then we're back. But John, next week's show is kind of... Uh, we don't really have a specific topic, but our friends do. Tell us uh, what we're doing next Saturday, please. Episode number 50. 
is what do you need? What do you need to what make things better? Need? With we have code. covered so much what do you need? so much that we haven't covered you know there's so many other things that you and i work with with clients so you i want you to be thinking what do you need and what can we help you with so we're hoping to get lots of suggestions next week and uh, we we give favoritism to loyal viewers and to people that are inside my emotion code uh hangout room people that really really know the process and um um that are friends of ours. So come next week, be vulnerable, you know, don't be shy with us. We're not shy. We work, we work on lots of personal stuff. So um, whatever you need, just bring it to the table. I, my hunch is there's people that are watching right now that know, they know that they have an issue from a past event mm -hmm. or a physical issue or a mental issue or something that they, they're thinking, I wonder if the bros can help with that. Just because we haven't had the show on it doesn't mean we can't help it. We uh, Today's, I have to go check, is show number? 49. 49. So that means we've covered 49 items. And there's a lot more that both John and I have done in private sessions. So yeah. what are you thinking about next week? Yeah, absolutely. I helped week? someone with uh, is a shoulder. It was like a torn something in the shoulder. Rotator cuff. Yeah from an old injury like 10, 20 years ago, and it was just like no range of motion. And it was after one we session. We love those ones, It was, oh, oh, 10 years. When they say they've had it forever. I've had this lower back pain forever. We just rub our hands like goody, goody. Yeah. And yeah, it was way better during the session. I'm just like, yeah, just do this. Yeah. Put your hand up, put your hand in the cookie jar. And he was like, something's different. Cookie jar, who yeah. has cookie jars? That's so old school. Okay, Christy Foote is giving you a big thank you very much. So thank you. Thank and, you, Christy, uh, for volunteering your crankiness. Yeah. Melarca Mendez is giving us a happy face. Hey. Sylvia Bellini saying, no biscuits or crisps or crankiness. You're spoiling all the fun. Oh, what thank do? goodness. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, if you're watching after the live show, go ahead, give us a shout out, say hello, let me know uh, something that, um, yeah, something that you Absolutely, might yeah. think that we can help you with. We'll, we can do that next week. Yeah. John, point to your URL there, and I know that you put it out in the room as well. Absolutely. And tell people uh, the kind of formats of your meetings and what they need to do to book it and how can they have it. Yeah, it's really easy. Online booking, uh, website, aliveandpeer.com. And just go in there. I have a scheduler. Click on that. Schedule a session. And it's easy. Set it to your time zone. PayPal takes care of the payment. And then we could have a session like on video like this. I do Zoom. I do Skype. And we can do it over the phone as well. And all mediums uh, work just uh, all effectively the same. I do email as well. So if you don't want to jump on the phone and or the time zones don't work, like if you're in Indonesia or something, and you just send me your list, like, yeah, right shoulder pain or, or this or that or anxiety, then I'll work on you and email you the list. Session notes and do those yeah. as well occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. And Barbara Rowan, she's saying, I have upper back pain, my T1 to 6 are tight. Well, Barbara Rowan, you know how to fix that yourself. That's your assignment today. But I will, I will give you a little tip on where to start with that. I would ask to find out what the percentage is that my neck and back are out of alignment. Hey, subconscious mm. mind, what is the percentage that my neck and back are out of alignment from 1 to 100? Oh, it's a 21. Okay, what's causing it? Delete them all, then test again. That's the key. Find out the severity, delete the trapped emotions, and then find out the severity. Yeah, I have some framework to, to, work, to start out to work with. Yeah, clean yeah. that up first, and then go right to the T1 and 6 and see if they're still tight. Sometimes when I just do that alignment, it fixes the problem that they called for, and I hadn't, I didn't have to go to the problem because that alignment fixed it. Mm -hmm. Just a little reset. Nine forty-three and forty-three minutes. We changed two people's lives. Now we'll know that for sure, but you and I are very confident because we've helped other people do it. And um, okay, Barbara saying my spine is one hundred percent. Been there, done that. Something else. What's next? 
Yeah, what's next? <laughs> Organs, glands, maybe? Yeah. Hard to say. What's the, what's the percentage of my left shoulder and my right shoulder out of alignment? What's the percentage of my left hip and right hip are out of alignment? And you know what? You might need someone to test that for you because sometimes doing stuff on your own, you know, I think we want to have an answer. Remember the time, John, I said I didn't have a heart wall and, and you said, mm, yeah, you do. Yeah. So, so even though I tried, even though I did it myself and thought I got rid of it, I still had some, so. Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes it takes two people yeah. yeah or somebody outside of yourself for sure yeah well thanks everybody for joining us and you can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash emotion code if you want to book a session today or tomorrow uh, john has the weekend off and joining it with his family yep and uh, you can go to aliveandpure.com we both have online calendars so you yep. can pull it up in your time zone and say mm, this one right here and uh bring a list you know if not, because you want to use every minute. And within a minute of joining the call, we can get right to work, mostly because you understand the process. And we don't have to explain how it works in the magnet, the chart. It's like, there's no fluff. There's no chitty chat. It's hashtag, let's get to work. Well, John, I'm looking forward to next week. I think we're going to get some interesting new ideas and some people stepping forward that haven't had a session. Yeah. And uh, are bringing some new ideas to us. So yeah, absolutely. let's say goodbye. To Thanks, everyone. Okay, see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.